The industry has seen an explosion in optical interconnect bandwidth over the last several years as AI scale out networks emerged with optical connectivity directly from the GPU server to the scale out switches. And Broadcom has been a leader in the industry releasing new technology at leading edge nodes to support the optical interconnect requirements for AI. So some of the technologies that we're showcasing this year at OFC is number one, an extension of our Vixel product line from 100 gig per lane Vixels to 200 gig per lane Vixels. This is the first 200 gig per lane Vixel in the industry showing remarkable performance improvements from what we've shared previously publicly and an expectation of going to production with this device by the end of the year. Vixels tend to provide much lower power consumption and much lower packaging and integration cost than their single mode counterparts, paving the way for a new generation of low cost 1.6 terabit multimode interconnects. We're also showcasing our now production available 200 gig EML laser, that's an externally modulated laser, where we are now shipping very large volumes in production and we're for demonstrating for the first time a 400 gig EML in, to get ready for the next generation of interconnect where you're gonna need 400 gig per lane connectivity. So those components are products that Broadcom works very closely with our trusted optical transceiver partners. But of course, Broadcom has also been investing the last several years in co-packaged optics. The reason for our investment in co-packaged optics is number one, to bring down the overall power consumption of the optical interconnect by almost 70%. Second, is to really increase the amount of integration in an optical component to where we can place these on a package with an ASIC and ultimately get the shoreline bandwidth density that's required for scale up networking. So what we're showcasing at uh, OFC this year is number one, our volume shipping Tomahawk 5 Bailey uh, 51T Ethernet switch, which uh, you know we've got it operating and we've got it now connected. We've been building that and demonstrating that for some time, but we're now interconnecting that with two different devices. Number one, we have it interconnected with a Thor 2 NIC with an LPO module. So that NIC to switch interface is the lowest possible power consumption you can have for a NIC to switch interface. The second we're showing is kind of paving the way for ultimate scale up networking. We have our Bailey optical engine interconnected with the test chip that we built in Broadcom where we took a uh, XPU te test chip, put a Bailey optical engine on that test chip and we have now that interconnected with the Tomahawk 5 Bailey system. Again, showing really strong traffic performance. So that demo, number one, shows what you can do for NIC to switch interconnects today for scale out networking and also what we expect to deploy in several years as the bandwidth requirements of XPUs grow and the cluster size grows to where it cannot be connected by copper because it's multi-rack connectivity being able to showcase the technology that will ultimately allow GPU connectivity to be direct uh, directly with optics.